Okay, so I'm here today with Catherine, Catherine Latu, and we go back way back, as you can tell, we're pretty comfortable with one another. Catherine, when did you start playing netball? Um, I started playing netball when I was 11. I didn't like playing netball, but um, somebody forced me to, and I'm glad they did. And where did you start playing netball? Up north in the Bay of Islands. Um, one of my friends came down to get me from my house, where I like to just go home and watch TV and do nothing, and then they made me play. And um, so if you played up north, so you obviously lived up there all your life, so um, when did you come to Auckland to play? I came down when I was 14, so I hadn't been playing it for very long, but um, yeah, I learned from a lot of people along the way, and I was kind of forced to grow up a little bit, so <laughs> it wasn't that long, but I'm glad I'm here. So when you were 14, you were still taller than me now? When I was six, <laughs> I was still taller than you. <laughs> So you come from a um, big family, um, how many in your family like? Tell me a bit about your family. Um, in my family we have six girls and four boys, so that's ten people <laughs> um, and lots of grandkids, so I've got a lot of nieces and nephews so there's always a fun time at home. Yeah. And um, I played alongside you in force, so it kind of goes way back, so you're getting a bit on it yourself. Um, and I've seen you grow as a player, and right now you're ready for the New Zealand team, obviously. Um, if you get selected, uh, when you can get selected. Um, what have you learnt, or so where you are now to where you've come from? What's been the main difference in, in your own game? Um, I think it was hard for me to learn how to work myself. I, I kind of got it quite easy at a young age, so it was, it was, I was thankful to have people around me that told me, hey, you're not as good as you think you are. <laughs> so, you know, I keep getting pulled back down to earth, which is um, one thing that I just can't say that I've needed enough is to have people around me to just give me a kick when I need it or to just tell me to shut up when I've said too much. So. That's probably the, the main thing. Um, and looking at your season last year and then the two games that you've played this year, um, man, it's the best I've seen you play. And um, you've got a couple of 100 percent during the games. I think you got one last week. Do you actually go out there to achieve that, or is it something that you just expect to do every week? Or yeah, you obviously aim for that, but. Um you don't actually know, and a lot of shooters will tell you you don't realise that until somebody tells you. Um, I think it's more about volume of shots rather than how many go in. Um, you need to put up a lot of shots and hope that most of them go in. But um, it's more about hoping. But you just you just <laughs> you just throw it and then you hope it goes. In. But like my passes, where I hope yeah. and you save my ass a oh, lot of times. Um, and so tonight we're going to and to play um, the magic. And how do you, how are you feeling about that game? Um, really good. Me and Casey have a bit of a history. I think we're one all now, which is which is. Can you please make nice. it two one to you? I'm going to try and make it two one. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready for the challenge, and this is going to be a big test to see how how great the Mystics going to be this year. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Catherine Larcher. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and it's very comfortable in this position. Uh, next time we we talk, I talk to you. It'll be with Caleb McAllister to see what she's up to. See you later. <laughs>